the boat. The boat is a place where we are very comfortable. The boat is where you're floating. The boat is where you don't have to worry about drowning. It's the comfortable place that you have. It's that space where we have that is so comfortable, right? Because when you're on a boat, you're not afraid. When you're on a boat, you're, you don't have to worry about what if something happens to me. Now here's a story where the disciples were on the boat and Jesus is walking on water and Peter wants to join Jesus. He wants to walk on water. He wants to get where Jesus is. And, and the other disciples on the boat were telling Peter, you are crazy. You want to go on water? You want to do the impossible? You want to do what has never been done before? <laughs> yes. And finally, Peter says, and he talks to Jesus and he says, can I join you? Would you let me come to where you are and see sometimes the interesting thing is like some will push you to stay comfortable in your comfort zone they will want you to walk with Jesus only if it's comfortable they will tell you to have faith but stay safe but walking with Jesus there's no safety walking with Jesus means that you do the impossible it's walking on water knowing that if you start drowning he will carry you is the fact that you're willing to be uncomfortable? Is the fact that you're willing to understand that despite my fear that I have, I'm willing to have faith. I'm willing to follow Jesus if it means doing what no one, no one else wants to do. I'm going to walk with Jesus even if no one else wants to get off their boat. If there's some Christian who wants to be comfortable, they want to do what everybody else is doing. But that's the thing. Our faith requires us to do the impossible, believe in the impossible, knowing that Jesus is the one who is able to walk on water, but he's also the one who has the power to conquer death and to provide life. Not only any kind of life, but eternal life. But the most, the people who were with Peter, who know Jesus, who have seen him do miracles, were the ones who were telling him, don't do it. Just stay safe. Just go to church on Sunday. Just listen to gospel. You don't need to do the impossible. You don't need to do extra. You don't need to get off and be uncomfortable. We want to stay comfortable in our faith. We just want to go to church and stay comfortable. We want to give our tithe and offerings and stay comfortable. But can you be uncomfortable? If Jesus asked you to get off the boat, will you get off the boat? Would you walk on water and let everybody call you crazy? We're always afraid of what everybody else is going to think. We're always afraid. What if people laugh at me? What if people say that I'm not cool anymore? What if people say that I'm not fun anymore? But that's the thing. It's okay to be uncomfortable. Get off the, 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 the boat. Don't follow the crowd. Follow your king. Your king is the one who will allow you to walk on water. It is not the opinion of the crowd. Because the crowd will always tell you to stay comfortable. But the king will always tell you that the impossible is possible. As long as the king is with you, nothing will be impossible. And everything will always be foolishness to those who don't follow Jesus. To those who don't believe Jesus. So I'm going to end with this. Would you get off the boat? Would you listen to what Jesus is trying to tell you to do? Would you stop thinking about what everybody else is thinking? Get off the boat. Walk on water. Do the crazy things and let people call you foolish because remember, to the foolish, wisdom is foolishness. The things of the Spirit don't make sense, but Jesus is saying, I am your king. I'm the one who can calm your storm. I'm the one who can walk in the storm. And if you allow me to be in your life. I will always tell you, never stay comfortable. Always come wherever I lead you. And whenever I lead you somewhere, even if it's crazy, it will be possible. They were saying, no one has ever walked on water before. It's true, no one has, has never walked on water before, but Jesus was on water. And anything that Jesus is at, you can conquer it. You have the power to walk over that problem. You have the power to walk over that depression. You have the power to walk over that problem. You have the power to walk over that challenge. As long as Jesus is in that place, nothing 
is impossible. So can we not be the Christian who are comfortable, the ones that no one can see, that we trust Jesus? Trust Him. Get off the boat. Stop being comfortable. Listen to His voice. Don't listen to all the voices around you, all the pressure around you, all the negative comments and criticism, and follow Him. 